And thanks to the innovative Altium platform, we've reimagined what Blazor has to offer in design, performance, and technology. And that's one of the reasons we're here tonight in this iconic location. Chevrolet Blazor EV SS. I don't think this is going to work. How about we get a closer and quieter look at the new Blazer EV? As Chevrolet rolls in the electrified future, they've announced yet another model in their lineup with this, their latest, the 2024 Blazer EV. And we're here today in Los Angeles to get a first look at this thing. While it shares the same name as Chevy's existing crossover utility vehicle, the Blazer EV clearly is a very different looking machine compared to its gasoline powered counterpart. This thing is lower, longer, wider, and more aggressively proportioned, making for a really handsome looking ride. One of the things Chevrolet's design team really focused on was making Blazer feel very expressive. And one of the areas they were able to do that is in the lighting signature. RS and SS trims have this cool LED lighting setup, similar to what you see on the new Silverado EV. There's a video of it on the channel as well. As you walk up to the Blazer EV, it detects the key and does a welcoming sequence. The light bar also illuminates while charging, indicating the state of charge. Last, it also has a walk-away sequence. GM vehicles often leave the running lights and reverse lights on for a few seconds when you lock your car, and this is the 2024 Blazer's take on that same thing. Visually, things are amped up quite massively, literally with these massive 22-inch wheels on this SS trim level. Also helping things out in particular I'm a big fan of is this floating black roof line, which gives this thing a really sporty look. But it's really the small details of the Blazer EV that set this thing apart, at least visually. I love in particular the surfacing on this thing. The side design in particular is so dynamic and interesting to look at. The belt line in particular is a great place to start. It kind of comes up from the fender, down into the doors, and kind of kicks back up into the quarter panel. And it's a similar look on the door as well. As your eyes follow the lines on the side profile, it really is quite a good looking vehicle. And wrapping things up here at the back of Blazer EV, there's quite a lot going on back here as well. Sure, you have this pronounced spoiler with a kick up right here, and I love these LED taillights right here. But this is really the angle where you start to see all the visual width of this model compared to the regular Blazer. It's over an inch wider, for example, and you really see that here in the hips. It's your boy, just checking in. Are you enjoying the video so far? Well, of course you are. That's because this is some grade A primo content we're talking about. So go ahead and show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. It's free and it helps the channel. All right, back to the video. Being the SS model, even the interior gets spiced up a bit. I love this split black and red leather aesthetic happening in here. And you do see some tie-in to other Chevrolet models like the Corvette, for example, with these air vents, which have a cool little LED ring right here that at night illuminates them and looks very, very sporty.
but the tech is solid as well in here. We have a 17.7 inch main infotainment display along with an 11 inch driver's display right here, which has all the functionality you'd expect, like you know, heated and ventilated seats, climate control, things like that. But one of the coolest tech tricks of all actually comes from the My Chevrolet app, where you can plug in your destination and it will tell you where all the DC fast chargers are along your route. You can plan your charging stops on the way, which is very, very clever. And it makes the longer distance drives less of a hurdle than it can be in some other electrified vehicles. But this is an EV, so what about the battery packs? Well, Chevrolet says there's gonna be a small, medium, and large pack size available, all from the next generation Altium battery pack technology. Those sizes have yet to be finalized at the time of filming. What's important though is DC fast charging. This thing supports up to 190 kilowatt hour fast charging. That means you can juice this thing up about 80 miles of range in just 10 minutes. Here are some more battery stats for you. Depending on the trim level you choose, you get up to about 320 miles of range. But for this sporty SS model, the thing you care about is the performance. And at the time of filming, Chevrolet is saying this thing's gonna produce up to 557 horsepower and 684 pound-feet of torque. Asterisk, there is some flex room there subject to change before production comes along. Still, that's good for a claimed zero to 60 in less than four seconds, which should make this thing very, very quick indeed. Then there's the subject of price. Base price is gonna be right around 45 grand for the 1LT trim. This top of the line SS model is right around 66 grand. And unfortunately, GM has sold so many EVs they no longer get the $7,500 federal tax credit. That's out the window. Still, from where I'm sitting, this does seem like a competitive offering from Chevrolet. In the electric crossover segment, Blazer EV stacks up pretty nicely next to vehicles like the Kia EV6, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and of course the Tesla Model Y. Blazer appears to be the most outwardly sporty of the bunch, and GM's engineers who were on site promise that this thing has some true handling chops, at least at their Milford Proving Grounds outside Detroit. Though that remains to be seen until we can drive this thing in the real world. The modularity of Blazer EV is very interesting, at least to me, because you can get this thing, depending on the trim level and configuration, as a front-wheel drive Blazer EV, an all-wheel drive Blazer EV, or in fact, a rear-drive Blazer EV. That really shows the flexibility of this skateboard platform this thing rolls on. I like that breadth of personality you can get in this vehicle. The front drive model will be economical and practical. The all wheel drive and rear drive versions will be more sporty and enthusiast oriented. And that's just a really cool perk of an electrified platform like Blazer EV. So there it is, the first look at the all new 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV, a tech rich all electrical family SUV that offers solid range and attractive base price point. If you want to stay up to date on the latest EV news from GM and every other manufacturer, please do subscribe to the channel. In any case, guys, my name is Jake. You've been watching Drive, Break, Fix, Repeat, and I'll see you guys next time. We're going to do more cool things with cars. Bye.